Demolition is starting on the old plush lounge building in Columbia. That building on Business Loop 70 and Rangeline Street caught fire in March. Fire Department is still investigating what caused the fire. Our ABC 17's Mitchell Kaminsky joins us live from outside the building tonight. Mitch, you spoke with several business owners around the area about how they feel about that building finally getting torn down. Megan Lucas behind me, you can see the old plush lounge, or what's left of it anyway. The rubble that was left behind is beginning to become an eyesore for biz surrounding businesses. I spoke with two people who work on this block who each said they're happy the plush lounge is finally getting torn down. On March 22nd, Demetrion Wood's dad received a call from a contractor at 3 a.m. that the old plush lounge was on fire. His business, Woods Auto Spa, sat just a few yards away. He ran down here, and I man, I can't tell you, it was kind of a scary sight, but after it was all said and done, we seen our power was out for about six hours throughout that day. Nearby business owner Kent Sapp says he's seen people before the fire coming in and out of the buildings, lighting fires to stay warm. Last May, Plush Lounge announced that they were closing indefinitely after a shooting in the parking lot left one dead and one injured. Incidents like these were not uncommon in the area. Like, when it's Bush Lounge, you had multiple shootings. The cops were over all the freaking time. Sapp argues that some of the activity happening around the old business was giving the rest of the businesses in the area a bad reputation. We're not all criminals. We're not all crackheads. We're not all methods. We have legitimate businesses and we just try to stay afloat and do our thing. It's difficult when you have 15, 20, 30 homeless people, you know, just loitering around, or you have people that are selling drugs and shooting each other, stuff like that. Woods agrees. Who wants to go shopping and life's in threat, you know? So customer service is definitely one of our number one priorities here at Woods Auto Spa, so I want to always make sure my customers feel safe. Sapp tells me that he hopes the city does something to make the area a nicer place for people to visit since it's earned such a bad reputation over the last couple of years. Reporting in Columbia, Mitchell Kaminsky, ABC 17 News. I right, Thank you, Mitchell. The city's building department tells ABC 17 that a structural engineer will investigate and figure out the best way to demolish the burned structure without harming those nearby. He says he thinks only the Burt building will need to be demolished.